Before this video starts, I want you guys to smash that like button down below. Can we reach 200,000 likes? Hey, what is going on guys? Today, I am going to teach you how to change your Mac cursor from this uh, plain black Mac cursor to this, maybe, if you wanted. It's a steel frame cursor. Or you can change it to an animated cursor also. I haven't seen any tutorials of how to make animated cursors on Mac, so I'm gonna be hopefully the first one to make it. Let's get right into the tutorial. Alright, so first what you want to do is go in the uh, link down below to download Mousecape. It'll be the first link down below. There'll be three links for everything that you need. So once you click the first link, go down to downloads and click mousecape.zip to download and you'll get a dot zip right click open with archive utility and it'll drop out mousecape i already have it in desktop all right so once you can open mousecape now and uh you won't have any of these but you can add some which is how this is how you go to file new cape and it'll add an unnamed one go to edit right click it and go to edit and you can name it anything you want. I'll name it Dang Meme. Alright. Uh, and then go to the bottom right. And it'll open one of these. Click it. Type arrows. Make it arrows. Now you need a cursor. Alright, now to find a cursor, you want to go to this website. It'll be in the description down below, of course. I'm going to search up Meme because I named it Dang Meme. Why not? So, um, let's see which one I want. I want Awesome Face. Alright, so we're going to click on Awesome Face and it'll open this. And don't click download. Go right here over the picture. Right click save image as. And then, um, save it as wherever, save it wherever you want as whatever you want. I'm going to name it Troll Face. I'm going to save it to desktop, so now it's on my desktop. Now, go back to your cape, drag the picture onto the 1x plot, and here it is. Alright, don't um, close out of it yet, because you need to fix this. You see that tiny red dot? That's where your cursor click is going to be. So you want it to be on where that part is, because that's where the cursor is. So. You want to change the hotspot, change the zeros, pretty sure 8, eight. and now the red dot is perfectly on the cursor. So now you can go to file, save, now I can close out of it and double click it to change into your cursor. Now you have a smiley face, nice. Alright, next up is the animated cursors. All right. To get your animated cursors, same thing, go on mouse cape, file, new cape, unnamed, alright, right click, edit, um, animated testing, tested, whatever, unknown, and we're gonna make it an arrow again, alright, now we're gonna have to download the animation. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the shades, deal with it shades. So right click, save image as, save it as a GIF. Shades, GIF. Now you wanna go to this website, which basically splits your GIF into separate frames. So choose file, shades, GIF. Gonna find it, we're gonna open it, and then we're gonna upload. Once it is done uploading, you're gonna wanna click split it. Now it splits it into how many frames the GIF had, and now you're gonna click download frames as zip. And then you're gonna open it, open the zip you just downloaded, and now you have easy GIF folder, which comes with all the frames. Alright, so now here's the tricky part. You're going to want to open frame 0, frame underscore 0, open with your photo editor that you choose, and I'm going to change
change the color to RGB so I can add on. So now we're going to go to image, go to Photoshop, go to image, canvas size. So we're going to change that to pixels and now we're, we're going to want to change height. So we're going to count how many frames we have in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven frames in total for our animation. So we're going to multiply this twice seven times. So height 48. So that would be 96. Click up here. So all the pixels would go down. Click OK. And then you're going to drag frame one in and just line it to the bottom. Press enter. Now we're going to do it again. So repeat canvas size pixels 96. You're going to add 48. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean uh, times uh, twice. And just keep doing that. So you're going to add 48. So 96 plus 48 is 144. So we're going to change height to 144. Click up here again. So all the pixels go down again. Click OK. Now we're going to track, uh, drag the third frame. Drag it down to the bottom until it clicks. And press enter. To add 48 again and just keep repeating until you're done with all the frames. Alright, now I'm just finishing up with the last frame. Alright, we are done with this now. So we want to go to File, Save for Web, Save. Um, just save it anywhere on desktop. I'm going to save it as MLG Glasses A and I. Save. We're going to close out. I don't want that anymore. Now you want to go back to mouse cape. Go back to your um your mouse. I have it animated animated tested. So drag MLG glasses A and I into it. Now frames. We're going to do seven frames because there was seven. All right. Seven frames, frame duration, you can do whatever. This is how fast it's going. If it's at one, you can go even faster by like 0.5 and it'll go a lot faster, but I'll just keep it at one for now. Hotspot, you go on, you wanna align the red dot again. I'm gonna guess it is 88 once again. And it is, all right, so you just file, save. Now just double click, oh, all right, we messed up. Hold on, go back to edit, go back to arrow. You wanna change, the, all right, I can't see anything. I gotta go back to one of these. All right, so ch the size, you wanna change 336 or whatever the height was to your X number, which is 48 for me, so 48. So it'll be a square instead of like really long. So file save close out of it now hold on what is happening okay it didn't save for some reason 48 please file save okay now you have your mlg glasses and they're pretty sweet And here are our, here is our cursor. If you guys thought this uh, video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I'm sorry if it was a bit confusing because I had a bit of troubles, you know what I'm saying? 
but yeah if you guys thought this was helpful please like down below and uh i'll see you guys next time